What up, yo? Here we go with another week in the world of hip-hop on the Rap Scene Weekly Wrap-Up. By now, we have all seen that comedian Dave Chappelle was attacked on stage during a set at the Hollywood Bowl by some guy that had a replica gun with a knife in the barrel. The attacker somehow got on stage and almost spear-tackled Chappelle. He didn't quite flush it out, but managed to get Dave to the ground, then got up and broke as security rushed in and chased him behind a huge on-stage screen, with Chappelle even chasing for a second, where it got bad for that guy. Dave said in a later set this week that he couldn't see the attacker's face but got a grip of his hair. He was even able to get into and talk to the dude while he was being detained by LAPD and described him as mentally ill. He was told by his attacker that he did it to draw attention to gentrification, displacing his grandmother in Brooklyn, New York. Not the right way to do it, dude. Thank God Chappelle is safe. Okay, now for the hip-hop jailbird list. In no particular order, reports state that Rod Wade was arrested on felony battery charges in his hometown of St. Petersburg, Florida this week. Strangulation is listed in the offense description on one young Rodarius Green, and with no bond set, everybody's wondering what the hell happened. It looks as if Rod went on IG Live as he was being detained just before his arrest in a traffic stop in a video going around on these here metawebs. Rod is a big dude, so whoever he was choking out probably had it bad for a hot second. There was a warrant for his arrest, and he now awaits trial in the Pinellas County Jail. Let's keep up with this story as it gets broken down. And 42 Doug was arrested by the feds in Detroit for failing to surrender for his six-month sentence with supervised release for illegal firearms possession. He now faces an absconding charge, basically escape, which will definitely get him more time than his original charge. Prison is no place you want to be, but you can't just trade six months for potentially five years. He has violated probation so many times over the last few years that it's ironic his last project was called Freedom Boys. As Doug is blown up, his legal troubles have increased. Whatever his reason or appeal situation, there is no excuse in the eyes of the law for not surrendering. Not looking good for Doug. Plus, Otis Williams Jr., better known as OJ the Jew Man, was arrested in Kentucky on gun and drug charges. The Jew Man hasn't dropped the project since 2014, a year before we last heard of him being arrested for similar charges, but his name still rings bells in the trap sector, which is officially dead. He's rocking the May 13th court date, but no other details have been released about his arrest. Next on the jailbird list is hip-hop pioneer Kid Creole, who has been sentenced this week to 16 years in prison for his first-degree manslaughter conviction. The Furious Five founder was charged for killing a homeless man in 2017. The details of the case were pretty straightforward, but he maintains that one day he will be exonerated and the truth will finally set him free. He's 65 years old and will now be in jail for the foreseeable future. This list is crazy. And finally, the baby will not face charges for shooting the intruder on his North Carolina property just a few weeks ago. It seems difficult for anyone to be charged for shooting an intruder in North Carolina, and the details are pretty clear on the trespassing aspect. They want to get the baby so bad, and he has other legal troubles brewing, so he still makes the jailbird list. The Troutman police will also face no consequences for doxing Mr. Kirk's address in their original press release of the incident. Maybe they just want to get more people shot. The jail burlesque could go on and on, so we're just going to stop it there and get into actual music-related news with new releases. Top-tier hip-hop takes center stage on Black Star's new album, No Fear of Time. Can't believe I get to say that. Jack Harlow released his anticipated project, Come Home, The Kids Miss You. Lil Gotta dropped the cheater, and we got a bunch of new singles from ASAP Rocky, Mozzie, Moray, Logic featuring Russ, Tusi, Lil Nar, The Boy featuring Drake or The Ruler, and Stunning for Vegas, just to name a few. Stream all that 10 times. All right, we need to shout out Eminem for being inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. The hip-hop side of this year's inductees include producers Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis and music executive Jimmy Iovine. It's great to see Slim Shady get some flowers because the disrespect that the Detroit MC receives from the world of hip-hop these days is outrageous. But it's nothing new coming from the source founder Ray Benzino, who tweeted last month, not for the first time, that the beef with them is over and he truly is a part of the culture. Well, this week he went at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame for inducting Eminem before countless other black artists that came before him. M don't even really talk these days and stay on people's minds for everything but the music. That's terrible. In doper news, the new iteration of the groundbreaking show Yo MTV Raps released a trailer, premiere day, and guest appearance lineup this week. The return of Yo MTV Raps, hosted by battle rapper Conceited and DJ Diamond Cuts, will premiere on Paramount Plus on Tuesday, May 24th with Gary Indiana's Freddie Gibbs as the first guest. The lineup through July includes Lotto, Saba, Jid, Senshia, T Grizzly, IDK, and Trina. Gotta be excited to what it looks like, but let's go in without comparing it to the classic show, please. Speaking of classic, Wu-Tang Forever, 
The second album by the Wu-Tang Clan will turn 25 years old on June 3rd this year. Get Down On and Legacy Recordings have announced an anniversary pack with all the goodies you'd expect. It's a must for any music collector or Wu-Tang Clan fan, and we gotta give it up to the Wu-Tang for the seminal project that changed the face of hip-hop. It 100% holds up till this day as a standalone body of work. And Atlanta MC Ludacris received an honorary bachelor's degree in music management this week from Georgia State University. He famously dropped out of the institution to pursue a music career, but has been involved in the Creative Media's Industry Institute on campus, so it's dope for him to receive this honor. Shout out to Luda for his honorary degree and the entire class of 20 Money 2 for doing what most don't, including Luda. And last but definitely not least, this week saw the commemoration of May 2nd as Megan Thee Stallion Day in her hometown of Houston, Texas. She received the key to the city from Mayor Sylvester Turner and her philanthropic efforts definitely had nothing to do with her damage control relating to her case with Tory Lanez. We like Meg and hope the best for her no matter what the facts reveal or the verdict may be. Congratulations on your day, Meg. There are plenty of other stories surrounding the stories that we take on with dedicated etiquette, so check that out on the playlist right here. But first, like this video, subscribe to this channel, check out our website, and follow our socials, all in that order. Dead ass, straight up with no chaser. Thanks for watching, y'all. Positive energy activates, constant elevation.